Hey everyone, I'm Rachel, and today I want to show you how to create colorful and realistic crystals using the Color Therapy app. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to combine tap to fill, smudge, and flat brush to create gleaming crystals. I'll also show you how to pick out the right gradients to create the most shine. If you want to follow along with me, find the image under the Classic tab, select Objects, and then under Gems, you'll find it in there. So let's get started. Now the first thing that I usually do is find a reference to work from to know what kind of colors crystals look like, where the highlights and shadows go, and how to add details. So the reference I found looks like this. See, this is really going to help me to know how to choose the right gradients and just also decide where to put in the highlights and shadows. So let's go ahead and choose some colors from the color palette. Open it up and make sure you set it to gradient and then you'll be able to see which of the gradients have a lot of shine. So what you want to do is look for gradients that have white in the middle in the gradient or somewhere in the gradient and just have a lot of contrast as well so for example that's a great color there the blue to white to turquoise let's go in the nature palette the underwater palette is really great too so if you want to do like an aquamarine then these are really good for that I'm just gonna choose a few of those blues and I'm kind of just choosing like a few dark ones, a few light ones, just ones with a lot of contrast. And you want to have between one to three of the gradients per crystal. So I'm going to just start off with one here and I'm just going to tap to fill and I'm just kind of doing it randomly. And I would also experiment with just changing up the gradient as well from a radial gradient to a linear gradient. So let's go ahead and add some details in. So under the color palette, I just want to select a basic white and then in the manual mode, select the flat brush. So let's raise the size all the way to 100 and then the opacity can be about 90% and then turn coloring inside the lines mode to on and with white you can just start to add in some highlights just with your finger. Where I'm adding the highlights is also a little bit random and that's kind of how gems are because they reflect light from all different angles. Then you also want to lower the size all the way down to about zero and then just raise the opacity for those really bright highlights. Using your finger or an apple pencil you can start to add in just really harsh white highlights. And what you want to do is go in the direction of the shape. Just follow the line and go close to the edge. And that's really all there is to it for adding in those highlights. And then occasionally you might want to try using the smear tool as well. So select the eraser icon and then just select smear. And then what you can do is just dragging your finger across one area, you can move those highlights over. So now you have even more detail and richness. So you can apply the same techniques to the rest of all the gems with all the different colors that you want. Here's the finished version with the lines removed. Remember, the trick is to choose gradients with a dramatic fade, and then accent them with one or two other versions of that color. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.